Crystallization of Magma Crystallization of magma is a geological process wherein molten rock material, known as magma, cools and solidifies, forming various types of crystals. This process is fundamental to the formation of igneous rocks, which constitute a significant portion of the Earth's crust. Magma originates from deep within the Earth's mantle, where high temperatures and pressures cause rocks to melt. As magma rises towards the surface due to buoyancy forces or tectonic activity, it encounters cooler environments. The cooling of magma leads to the gradual solidification of its constituents, primarily minerals, resulting in the formation of crystals. The rate of cooling greatly influences the size and arrangement of crystals within the rock. Slow cooling allows sufficient time for crystals to grow larger as they have more time to develop before the magma solidifies completely. This typically occurs deep beneath the Earth's surface and results in coarse-grained igneous rocks such as granite. Conversely, rapid cooling, which happens near the Earth's surface or during volcanic eruptions, results in the formation of fine-grained or glassy igneous rocks like basalt. During the crystallization process, minerals within the magma form distinct crystal structures based on their chemical composition and the prevailing conditions of temperature and pressure. The exact composition of the magma dictates which minerals will crystallize first and the subsequent sequence of mineral formation. This sequence is described by Bowen's reaction series, which outlines the order in which minerals crystallize from a cooling magma. Crystallization can also lead to the segregation of minerals within the magma chamber, a process known as fractional crystallization. This occurs because different minerals have distinct melting points and solidification temperatures. As certain minerals crystallize and settle out of the magma, they may accumulate in specific zones within the magma chamber, leading to the formation of mineral deposits and igneous intrusions with varying compositions. The crystals formed during magma crystallization can exhibit a wide range of shapes, sizes, and textures, depending on factors such as the cooling rate, mineral composition, and presence of impurities. These crystals provide valuable insights into the geological history and conditions under which the igneous rocks formed. Overall, the crystallization of magma is a complex and dynamic process that plays a critical role in shaping the Earth's crust, contributing to the formation of diverse igneous rock types and influencing geological phenomena such as volcanism and tectonics. How does crystallization of magma occur? Crystallization of magma is a complex geological process influenced by various factors including temperature, pressure, composition of the magma, and cooling rate. Understanding how crystallization occurs involves delving into the intricate interplay of these factors. Melting in the mantle, magma originates from deep within the Earth's mantle, where intense heat and pressure cause rocks to undergo partial melting. This process generates molten rock material composed of various elements and compounds. Magma ascent, once formed, magma starts to ascend towards the Earth's surface through fissures, fractures, or volcanic conduits. The movement of magma is primarily driven by buoyancy forces arising from the density difference between the molten rock and the surrounding solid rock. Cooling and crystallization, as magma ascends, it encounters cooler environments closer to the Earth's surface. The cooling process initiates the crystallization of minerals within the magma. The rate of cooling is a critical factor influencing the size, shape, and arrangement of crystals in the resulting igneous rock. Slow cooling, magma that cools slowly, typically occurring deep beneath the Earth's surface, allows sufficient time for crystals to grow larger. This results in the formation of coarse-grained igneous rocks such as granite. The slow cooling rate enables minerals to crystallize over extended periods, leading to well-developed crystal structures. Rapid cooling, in contrast, Rapid cooling occurs near the Earth's surface or during volcanic eruptions. This quick cooling process prevents the formation of large crystals, resulting in the formation of fine-grained or glassy igneous rocks like basalt. Rapid cooling limits the time available for crystal growth, leading to the formation of small crystals or even amorphous glass. Sequence of crystallization, 
the exact sequence of mineral crystallization within the magma is governed by Bowen's reaction series. This series outlines the order in which minerals solidify from a cooling magma based on their melting and solidification temperatures. Minerals with higher melting points crystallize first, while those with lower melting points solidify later. Fractional crystallization as magma cools and minerals begin to crystallize, certain minerals may separate from the remaining molten rock due to differences in density and melting points. This process, known as fractional crystallization, can lead to the formation of distinct mineral assemblages and the creation of mineral deposits within the magma chamber. Influence of pressure and composition, pressure variations within the Earth's crust can also affect the crystallization process. Changes in pressure can alter the melting and solidification temperatures of minerals, influencing the types of crystals formed. Additionally, the chemical composition of the magma plays a crucial role in determining which minerals will crystallize and the overall texture and composition of the resulting igneous rock. In summary, the crystallization of magma is a dynamic process influenced by a multitude of factors. It plays a fundamental role in the formation of igneous rocks, shaping the Earth's crust and contributing to geological phenomena such as volcanic activity and the formation of mineral resources. What is the crystallization process of magma? The crystallization process of magma is a fundamental geological phenomenon that leads to the formation of igneous rocks. It involves the transformation of molten rock material, known as magma, into solid rock through the growth and arrangement of mineral crystals. This process occurs in various environments, ranging from deep within the Earth's crust to volcanic eruptions at the surface. Understanding the crystallization process requires considering several key aspects. Formation of magma Magma originates from the partial melting of rocks within the Earth's mantle. This melting is typically induced by high temperatures and or reduced pressure. The composition of the magma depends on the source rocks and the specific conditions under which melting occurs. Ascent of magma, once formed, magma rises towards the Earth's surface due to buoyancy forces. The movement of magma is influenced by factors such as density differences, pressure gradients, and the presence of geological structures like faults and fractures. As magma ascends, it may undergo mixing, differentiation, and assimilation processes, altering its composition and properties. Cooling and crystallization, as magma ascends or cools within the Earth's crust, it loses heat to its surroundings. This cooling triggers the solidification of the magma, leading to the formation of mineral crystals. The rate of cooling significantly affects the size, shape, and texture of the crystals within the resulting igneous rock. Slow cooling, magma that cools slowly deep within the Earth's crust allows sufficient time for crystals to grow relatively large. This results in the formation of coarse-grained igneous rocks such as granite. Slow cooling promotes the development of well-defined crystal structures. Rapid cooling, conversely, magma that cools rapidly at or near the Earth's surface forms fine-grained or glassy igneous rocks like basalt. Rapid cooling prevents the formation of large crystals, leading to the development of small crystals or amorphous glass. Bowen's reaction series, the sequence in which minerals crystallize from a cooling magma is described by Bowen's reaction series. This series outlines the order of crystallization based on the melting and solidification temperatures of minerals. Minerals with higher melting points crystallize first, while those with lower melting points solidify later. Fractional crystallization, during the cooling process, certain minerals may crystallize and settle out of the magma at different stages due to variations in density and melting points. This process, known as fractional crystallization, can lead to the formation of distinct mineral assemblages and the segregation of mineral deposits within the magma chamber. Influence of pressure and composition Pressure variations within the Earth's crust can affect the crystallization process by altering the melting and solidification temperatures of minerals. Additionally, the chemical composition of the magma determines which minerals will crystallize and the overall texture and composition of the resulting igneous rock. Overall, 
the crystallization process of magma is a dynamic and complex phenomenon that plays a crucial role in shaping the Earth's crust and contributing to geological diversity. It produces a wide range of igneous rock types with diverse mineral compositions, textures, and geological significance. How does magma change during crystallization? During the process of crystallization, magma undergoes significant changes in composition, temperature, and physical properties as it transforms from a molten state to solid rock. Understanding these changes is essential for comprehending the formation of igneous rocks and the geological processes associated with magma crystallization. Here's a detailed explanation. Loss of heat, as magma cools, it loses heat to its surroundings, which initiates the crystallization process. The rate of cooling can vary depending on factors such as the depth of the magma chamber, the presence of surrounding rocks, and the intensity of volcanic activity. Slow cooling allows for more extensive crystal growth, whereas rapid cooling results in the formation of smaller crystals or even glassy textures. Solidification of minerals Crystallization begins with the nucleation of mineral crystals within the magma. Nucleation is the initial formation of tiny crystal, seeds, that serve as the foundation for crystal growth. As cooling continues, these nuclei grow as mineral ions accumulate around them, eventually forming fully developed crystals. The specific minerals that crystallize depend on factors such as the chemical composition of the magma and the prevailing temperature and pressure conditions. Fractional crystallization as cooling progresses, certain minerals solidify and separate from the remaining liquid magma at different temperatures, a process known as fractional crystallization. This occurs because minerals have different melting points and crystallization temperatures. Minerals with higher melting points crystallize first, while those with lower melting points remain in the liquid phase for a longer period. This process can lead to changes in the composition of the remaining magma, enriching it in certain elements or minerals. Chemical differentiation, the crystallization process can also result in chemical differentiation within the magma chamber. As minerals crystallize and settle out of the magma, they can form layers or zones based on their density and composition. This can lead to the development of distinct mineral assemblages within the igneous rock, contributing to its overall texture and composition. Changes in viscosity, as crystals form and solidify within the magma, the remaining liquid portion becomes more viscous. Viscosity refers to the resistance of a fluid to flow, and it increases as the proportion of solid material in the magma increases. High viscosity magmas tend to be more explosive during volcanic eruptions, as they can trap gases and build up pressure more easily. Formation of igneous rocks, ultimately, the crystallization process results in the formation of igneous rocks. These rocks can exhibit a wide range of textures and compositions depending on factors such as the cooling rate, mineral content, and presence of gas bubbles or other volcanic features. Examples of igneous rocks formed through crystallization include granite, basalt, and obsidian, each with unique characteristics determined by their formation history. In summary, the process of crystallization involves the solidification of magma through the growth and arrangement of mineral crystals. This transformation leads to changes in the physical and chemical properties of the magma, ultimately giving rise to a diverse array of igneous rocks with distinct textures, compositions, and geological significance.